Previously, SimJack pedal owners could only rely on third-party software, namely FreeJoy or DiView. SimJack's in-house software makes the job of calibration a more user-friendly experience than using either FreeJoy or DiView. I have one pedal calibrated here. The two bars indicate the load cell sensor output. Raw is the uncalibrated output and out is the calibrated output. The throttle is not calibrated yet. You can see the two bars are displaying identical readings. To calibrate the pedals, click on calibrate so the button turns green, then simply press the pedal all the way and release. Once done, click calibrate once more to turn the button back to grey. This won't be applied to the pedal until you press save config to device. Now we can see the pedal out bar is displaying the fully calibrated pedal output. Finally, we need to do the same with the brake pedal. During the calibration procedure for the brake, push the pedal with the amount of force you want set for the 100% braking input. You may need to return here and try this more than once to get the right measure set to your preference. Also, if you swap the elastomers, recalibrating a brake will probably be required. The software also lets you adjust the curve input. The drop down menu isn't being picked up by the recording software, but there are four defaults to pick from. You can manually fine tune the bars by clicking on them. As before, save config to device to apply any changes. If you're experiencing any issues with signal jitter from the load cell, you can increase the filter level. Just be aware the high settings will introduce latency. Dead band refers to dead zone. A small percentage is necessary. The default is 5%, which should be fine for most. You can fine tune it by entering a new number. And don't forget, write config to device to lock it in.